Yeah. Uh-huh. You know who it is. Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple, Speedy Temple. Uh. Hello, everyone. My name is Speedy Tempo, and today I'm going to react to episode 3 of The Lost Sun by Flutter Rose VA. Okay, this is, at the moment, the most recent and latest episode of the series. And it came out recently, about, uh, about a month and a half ago. So, I don't know when the next episode is going to come out, but I'll be sure to react to that when it does come out. Now, to recap what happened in the last two episodes, um... It turns out that Celestia and Discord have a child together, but only Celestia knows about him, apparently. And he's been roaming around for about a thousand years or so, according to what Fuller Rose told me after I, have, after I had some questions after the last episode. And um, his name is Torin, I believe? Yeah, Torin. He's like a half pony, half conquest hybrid sort of thing and he's apparently good friends with Twilight's brother Shining Armor after they met each other during his I guess journey around Equestria I'm not really sure what to call it and as of the last episode he seems to have a bit of a crush on Starlight Star what's her name Starlight Glimmer, Starlight Glimmer. I can never remember her name. Save my life. And Rarity has a crush on him, but he doesn't like Rarity, he likes Starlight. And it seems like Starlight may like him back. I guess we'll know, find out in this episode, which is called The Gala. So, let's get it started in 3, 2, 1... Previously on Ready? Lost Sun. Ready as I'll ever be. Sister, is thou seeing what I am seeing? Yes, she Sister? does. Torn, after all these years, you finally returned to me. Mother? You're his mother? And yes. he's your son? Yep. Torn? No, it can't be. It is the one and only. I've been having this dream ever since I've been here. But they've never spoken before until now. Hmm. And I've only been here for two weeks. What does she mean, a warning? Dread, wait! Oh. <coughs> Episode 3. Featuring Pee Wee Dragon, Otis Cat, Lily Leaf, Flutter Rose, Quillen Lead, and created by Flutter Rose herself. Episode 3 of The Lost Sun. And this is Sword, Rarity's hurry up, we're gonna be late. Come Rainbow on. Dashes. Uh, but honey, House. I'm ready. Don't sass me, Sword. You try carrying this baby. You know what? I'm Be not what? Huh? What? Huh? What? I sure hope it'll be easier when the baby comes. I heard that. Oh boy. If she's like this now, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when she goes into labor. If I even live that long. Apple? When? Applejack, you're pulling out my hair. Do you have to put my bow in like that? What? Hold on, Aunt Bloom. Almost got it. There you are. All done. Finally. Uh, Applejack, Apple Bloom, have you all seen Cheerly? Probably getting ready. You know how those mares are. Always want to look our best for the gala. <sighs> yup. <laughs> okay, going back to Rainbow Dash. When? How? What? Huh? Almost done. Okay. How do I look? Yes, very handsome. Now let's go, Romeo. Okay, another thing I had to mention in the first episode at the end, or towards the end, there was a male voice that I didn't know was Spike until I rewatched my reaction to it. Like, after the third time, I didn't realize that was Spike. I believe you have not been back with It's hilarious. Likewise, your highness. And I must say, my dear Eric, 
You look absolutely stunning tonight. That's pretty good, uh, fancy pants voice. Well, your designs cannot match your beauty, which is more beautiful than the finest gem. <laughs> well, if it isn't Spike, the dragon, I'm surprised the prick just slept you in here, seeing as you're not a pony. I am going to give you some punch before I get tired of it. And you I didn't think ah! Fancy Pants was that such oh, of a prick against Spike. You'll get over it. He thought he was a bit jealous. Or something. Stupid fancy pants. What does he know? I mean, I can carry him and throw him in a garden for all I care. Is that Flutter Rose on the left side? Hey, partner. Why so down? Oh, hey, AJ. Just thirsty for some punch. Are you sure, sure it's you? Yes. Oh, someone's angry. It's all right, Street Cube. I understand. Just try and have fun, okay? I'll try. Scootaloo, you're back. Yep, I kind of hurt my way in practice, so I came to visit. It's odd to hang out. It's been years since we've been together. What? Wait, are they older? I'm a bit confused as to when this is taking place. Let's just say there was a pretty nice picture there. Change of plans. The next one will appear. And you find you will walk, and then run, run then and fly. fly. And it's just as it's here. I've got, got to, to give, give it your best, your best so, so you can pass, pass the test. test. If it Give it everything, everything that you got, got. And, and we know, know you, you can win, win. You, you just have, have to begin, begin. Have to give it, it your very best out. I feel like I hear two of the same voice just slightly off off center away from each other. This is amazing. For it to be my first time, I never wanted to end. Oh, <laughs> I just realized both the female ponies that Torin has a romantic uh, connection with, in a way, are both voiced by Otis. <laughs> when I was little, I lived with two earth ponies. Then when they died, I left to join the equestrian guard force. And then, I was alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, when he was little? Wouldn't it be like almost a thousand years ago? I'm glad you asked me. It shows that you care for me. Star, when I'm with you, I don't feel so... Alone? Alone. <sighs> Sometimes. I to be in a Why would you say that? Because I'm not going to hurt you. Star, I would never, ever hurt you. Okay, that was fast. Man. I mean, it was love at first sight, apparently, but still. All those days watching the wind All those tears It's like the 1,000th the first time I've heard this song. Clear, I'm where I'm meant to be. Heaven, love. 
Okay, for this one, they didn't change the lyrics. It's not so far, anyway. And it's like the sky is low. And it's warm and real and bright. And my world is somehow Ah. All at once. That was everything peaking. Now that I All those days chasing down a daydream. All those years living in a blur. All that time never truly seeing things the way they were. Now she's here, shining in the starlight. Now she's here, suddenly I know. If she's here, it's crystal clear I'm where I'm meant to go And at last I see the light And it's like the fog has lifted And at last I see the light And it's like the sky is new And it's warm and real and bright and the world has somehow shifted All at once, everything is different Now that I see I'm sorry if I'm quiet during the song parts, so I'm just trying to listen. I like that touch of the nose part there. That was cute. In a minute, Mom! Wait, who else is married besides Rainbow Dash and having babies besides Rainbow Dash? Well, there is this one cult I knew, but we lived in different worlds and lost touch. Oh. Oh, really? It's just not my time yet. And don't worry, I like Doing Flash dirty like that? Come on. I'm glad to see that Tori's up and well. And I'm also pleased to see that you're coming new side. Indeed, sister. It seems Starlight is more than a friend in his perspective. Indeed, Luna. But she thinks the same way. Did you see them kiss? I did. It was quite adorable. Oh, and Wait, were they peeping on them? It reminds me of someone years ago. Oh, Luna. It feels like yesterday since when I kissed you. But I must say you were very old-fashioned. Man, you're such an overprotective mom, Celestia. Luna, they're here. I snap you. And don't laugh. Good evening, Princess Luna and Princess Celestia. Wait, has she ever left? We have heard that Miss Glimmer has improved in her studies. I can't remember a time when she She's left. Definitely improved, and has grown in her years. Oh wait, of yeah, she left in the first episode she was in, or the well, first episode of season two that she was in. After making friends with Trixie, it became much easier down the road, and the friendships come naturally. Well, I am very proud of this fellow. I see great things in him. 
I guess it would be kind of helpful if they were both on the screen too, but eh. Hey, uh, Spike? Wanna dance? Uh, sure, why not? Well, I'll be gone. Oh, this is a different kind of Apple sh Spike shipping I've seen. <laughs> Thunderbolt. I would. Ooh. Hold on there. Not tonight, big brother. We'll talk about tomorrow, okay? But not now. Not when two pennies. All right, God. <laughs> that was quick. Whoa. Well, if it isn't my favorite girl. Smooth card! Hey, where's Smoothie? Oh, Smooth had a slight cold. Don't go breaking my heart. Sorry. Jennifer, with the big red dragon. What? Now, honey, remember, stress and anger isn't good for the baby. Sorry, honey, I'm just, I'm worried about you. I know, I'm sorry. It is bugging my friends. Well, Soren reminds me a lot of me. Okay, I gotta figure out this whole marriage and pregnancy thing. Cause I, I don't know who's doing what and doing what, doing what and doing with and doing what. Don't do it. No! Really? Ugh. Should have seen that coming. Okay. Oh, Eagle Tail. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Eagle Tail, Gordon Mash, Physical Viewer, and Eagle Tail, Countless Rove, Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, that's music. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't go breaking my. Why does it have no artist under it? Wasn't it Elton John that made it? Shinada Brita? Shinada Breta? Eagle Tail. More Eagle Tail. Well, you definitely can't say the artists aren't being credited here. They get two credits. Mystical Reviewer. More Mystical Reviewer. Gordo Mash. Flutter Rose. Oh, I didn't know she could draw. Or if I did, I never realized it. <laughs> Pinky Apple. I'm going to try Ambrix Lux. <laughs> 
I, I can't. <laughs> Those X's are doing it for me. Countess Rose. I'm pretty sure it's Jenna Bun down there in the center. Okay, so... Apparently Pinkie Pie was married to... Okay, that's the end. Apparently Pinkie Pie was married to Cheese Sandwich and he left her. Which is so uncool. I don't, I don't expect Cheese Sandwich to ever do that. At least not in real life. If that ever happened. Rainbow Dash is pregnant with Soren's baby. Who is also her husband, I believe. And Twilight's single. Still. Rarity is single still. Fluttershy I'm not even sure about. Applejack, not sure about either, but it seems like she's single. And I'm gonna say the same for Fluttershy too, because I didn't see any children or husbands with her. And Starlight is dating Torrin. I think I have it all figured out there. Okay, um... For this episode, I have to say, in my honest opinion, the story is alright. It has a solid premise. Um, the audio quality, that was kind of... Uh, for me. I mean, there were points where the, the music was too loud and I couldn't even hear people who were talking. Uh, some people were too quiet. Um, the songs kind of off with the vocals a bit. Uh, I'm not gonna say it was bad because I could still follow the story with the audio. It was just kind of distracting, I'd say, a bit. Um, the art was good. Can't really say anything bad about it. And he left it on a cliffhanger, which is so evil. <laughs> But it gets me engaged and wanting to see what comes next, so it's definitely good, good quality right there. So I'll say I like this episode, and I can't wait to see what comes next. I just hope that, like I said, the audio quality gets a bit better. That's all I have to say. And with that, that's my reaction to episode three of The Lost Sun. I should be reacting to uh, another episode of a another audio drama soon and I should be coming out with a cover pretty soon too so with that I'm Speedy Tempo and I'm out see you guys